Okay, guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about setting our heights for our headers. Um, we have a, a lot of questions about this that come up in the communities where, have an example like this where I've got two lines of text. This is actually just a single line of text, but it's wrapping with a space. If I take one of those words out, um, it's now less text, but the height hasn't changed. Uh, and one way that people do that is set this to a fixed height in pixels or, or using their um fixed variables um i prefer to use the line height property for css in this because it gives you the perfect size for that line height now what we do is if we look at the css for this there's a lot of css on this i'm actually just working on a very specific card layout for a customer so bear with that and by the way excuse my audio i am still in the Cook islands still working from my laptop in a very noisy environment and it is pouring down with rain today so there's extra noise hopefully this will work out well with crisp noise reduction anyway let's go to our css for this i'm going to go to my card basic here have a look at my css i might just uh, go full screen on this so we can see it a little bit better so what we've got here is we have a hitting and on our heading, we have a line height of 1.1, and we've got a min height of a variable, which is our card heading min height. So we go up to the definitions up here, we're in our root block, we're setting our card heading min height to 2LH. So the unit LH is the line height that you've set it to. So it's two times the 1.1 line height, which is exactly what we need so that it will always be that height regardless of what font size we set it to it's always going to respect that um, and if we change the line height it's going to respect it as well but what we're going to do is we want to remove that when we're on a mobile display because otherwise when we're on a mobile display it might go wider where it's not wrapping and uh, what's going to happen is if we have a minimum of two line height we're going to end up with extra spacing which i'll show you now to switch between the desktop view and the mobile view all we're doing down here is a media query. We're saying at our max width of 767, or if we want to word it differently, below 768 pixels, we want to swap out our variable. So we're going to make this card heading min height equal the card heading min height with the mobile modifier. So we're switching it out. This is a very common practice that I use. So if I'm using uh, you know, things like hover states, um, whether, whether something is selected or not, uh, whether a checkbox is checked or not, um, whether it's a media query, a container query, quite a lot easier to override variables, uh, giving them these variation names that I do to put a bunch of CSS in those queries. So that's the way I normally work, but that works really, really well. So I'll show you what that does. In here, we can see our text with the two lines of height. It's exactly the same as our text with the one line of height. We go back to our management here. We put in the event back, sorry, the word event back in there. We end up with two lines of text, but we haven't affected our alignment because this is going to be 2LH high at minimum. All right, I'm going to take that back out. I'm going to have a look at what this looks like on my mobile landscape, which is my 767 below. And we'll see that we don't have a minimum price on there anymore because we don't want to have 2LH heading when this is going to not wrap otherwise we're going to end up with extra spacing underneath that in fact let me let me show you what it would look like if we didn't do that by just putting that same 2LH on the mobile so it's getting very very slow and bouncing around here so bricks editor sometimes it's great and sometimes it is bloody slow so 2LH Oops, got right in the right spot there. To our page. Now, if I go to my mobile, yeah. Believe me, I did click on it. See, I've got one line of text, but I've got extra spacing under it, even on mobile, which is not working well for us at all. So let's go back and unset that. So on mobile, we don't want anything. What's going on with my cursor? Let 
What's going on with my cursor? There it is. And we're back to where we started, where it works properly on mobile. So that's just a quick tip. I hope that helps you guys. If you like this sort of thing, hit the subscribe, hit the like, and I'll catch you later.